Welcome back. We are here on Etero, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. We'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied way past the previous highs from yesterday, trading at uh, 91.04 at this current stage and well above the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average. There's still a lot of room to the upside if we are going to continue. We have taken out of these previous highs here. Next is going to be these next highs here. And uh, if that is the case, then we're probably heading towards 92.5 and the 200 moving average. Taking in the other they are very uh, bullish at this current stage. So this could have major implications, for example, oil that has been rallying for a very long time. So it could mean that oil will fall the next few days. And we'll see how far that could basically go. So let's look at oil. So as you can see, we have fallen towards uh, 60.44. We have found some resistance here, and it was basically about time before this market to fall. We have been on this massive rally um, for basically forever. So first of all, stimulus news, vaccine news, um, drawback in, in oil production and so on has basically increased this market. At this moment, we have quite a big pullback towards the 20 exponential. It is holding. We have a pullback also from this from this dive. Technical indicators are looking uh, very negative. So until they basically turn around, which I do expect they will do at some point, uh, probably in usually take one two days before this turns around. Then we're heading back towards the 65. So 65 is going to be where we're going to test these previous highs from prior to the coronavirus. So yes, that is actually amazing that we are in this uh, economic downturn and still oil prices are rallying. That is not really good for economic recovery. Uh, cheap oil prices would benefit an economic recovery more than expensive oil prices. So this is just going to be an even bigger drag on the world economy because it will um, eat companies' profits, to be honest. So you have to test this and test this. And if that breaks, then we'll go into 70. So yes, that is basically where I'm. I think Goldman Sachs has long-term target here of $75, if I remember right. So yes, we could actually be heading towards that level before uh, going significantly down. And that basically means that we'll test this previous level here back in 2018 before Donald Trump uh, at least his infamous uh, tweet where it basically got this market to drop all the way from, I think mean, it was uh, 70, uh, 76, all the way down to roughly uh, $42. Yes, in one tweet. So, But he's not president anymore. He doesn't have a uh, Twitter account, so don't bet on that. But at the moment, uh, pull back towards uh, 20 exponential. That should offer quite a lot of support. Break below that opens the door to do these previous highs at 53 but we have the 50 moving average here, which will offer a lot of support. So natural gas. So we have uh, fallen towards the 50 and we have rallied quite significantly here. Uh, very surprisingly, I thought we were going to drop way below the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are turning around. So this looks like a very encouraging sign for natural gas. It looks like we are creating lower highs. So we could actually be turning around here, heading back towards uh, these previous highs. If you look at this from a trend line, we could basically say that we are creating an upward channel here. Very surprisingly for this time of, of the year, but that is not what it basically looks like. If we turn around here, we could head back towards these highs and then continue upwards. A break below the 50 opens the door to the 200 moving average. But yes, let's see what basically happened here. We need to break the 20 exponential, then we'll head to $3 and then beyond that, the 3.23 and so on. So let's look at copper. So as you can see, we have finally dropped here in the copper market. That is an inverted hammer, which is a very, very shine for this market. However, I would not expect this to drop below the $4 range here. So uh, yeah, 4.0. So um, so technical indicators, they are turning around. MACD, uh, Stochastic, CCI, all of them are turning around. 
but we should off it should offer a lot of support around here. This got, just got completely parabolic and needs to pull back, needed to pull back. We have the 20 that usually offers quite a lot of support, and underneath we have the 50 moving average. So yeah, I would wait for a pullback at least to the 20. If that breaks, then we go into the 50, and that would certainly offer massive support. So let's look at gold. So nobody is interesting inter interested in gold, I was supposed to say. So first of all, we have this upper resistant line and below here we have this lower resistant line. So what could happen in this market is that we could drop towards these very lows here. I think that 1700 should offer a significant support, but we could go past that and test these previous lows here. Um, at the moment, we are oversold in gold. Yes, in, uh, in the biggest downturn in the world economy uh, probably ever, we are witnessing that gold prices are dropping, which doesn't really make any sense whatsoever. Usually gold prices in these uh, times are rallying as um, um, central banks and also governments are just flooding uh, cheap liquidity into the market. That should also be, uh, be bullish for gold, but we are witnessing completely the opposite. We are in a downtrend going towards the lower part of this channel, roughly 1700 or even lower than that, 1670 give or take at this point. Technical indicators are looking dreadful. We are oversold, just keep that in mind. We can also look at the Bollinger Band and see how far we are there. We're also outside of the Bollinger Band. We did rally and then it just fell apart. So pullbacks towards the 20 exponential or the middle of the Bollinger Band here, that is basically at this point, a selling opportunity. So let's look at silver. So as you can see, the 50 moving average is still holding. Um, we tried to rally up towards the 20, we fell back. Technical indicators are very uh, bearish for silver, but as long as 50 is holding, this is not going anywhere. If the 50 breaks, then we could see this drop towards these previous lows here at $25. There should be a lot of um, support down there, or even the 200 moving average at $23.87. And and so let's look at platinum. There. Yes, so as you can see, we did fall below the 20 exponential and then rallied and then dropped again. Technical indicators like the MACD and Stochastic are very bearish at this point. CGI is basically becoming flat. So that is an encouraging sign. RSI is also flat. So, so this could be as far as this goes. 1163 could be as far as this goes in the short run. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement here. We can see that we're running into the 50 Fibonacci retracement right here. And yes, that could be as far as it goes. And then we'll head back to these previous highs to the to towards 1300. So let's look at pallium. So as you can see, we're still doing the uh, same thing. We are trading at a highs of 2.5. You all remember this. I don't really have to show the charts anymore of this because it's just doing more of the same. So 2.5 is the highs, 2.2 uh, is the 2.1, 2.2 is the lows, and at the moment we're right in the middle of things. So it's possible to sell it here at the very highs. As you can see, we got close to that, and then just it breaks down. When we get to the very lows or the 200 moving average, it, it tends to rally significantly. We can see here, here, and also here, and the drops are here and here and also here. So trading in the middle, that is just pure gambling because it can totally turn around at any point. So let's look at aluminium. So at this point, we are finding, this is looking really interesting, we're finding major support here at the 20 exponential moving average. We can also look at the Fibonacci and uh, we can see that we are have the 50 right here at the 20 exponential. So this could take some time, but this is probably as far as this will go to the downside. And when we find this much uh, support here, it is fairly unlikely that we are going to drop all the way down to the 50 moving average at this point. But if we do, then the 50 is at roughly 2.028 at this current stage. Technical indicators are still very 
bearish. So a turnaround in, for example, stochastic and a CCI, that could be an early indication that we are about to turn around and head towards a 2200. So let's look at nickel. Same thing here. Uh, we are, well, this is more uh, turning around than uh, compared to uh, to, uh, to uh, aluminium. But we fell quite drastically on Thursday, also on Friday, and now we are stabilizing here at 18,610. Break above the uh, 20 exponential, that opens the door to 20,000. Uh, CCI and the uh, RSI are turning around, while the MACD and Stochastic are still bearish at this point. So we could basically take one or two trading days, and usually it just goes parabolical when it takes off. Break below from here, opens the door to the 50 at 17,990. 17, so let's look at sugar. So yes, this continues to fall. We It is almost all the way down at 100 in the Fibonacci retracement. We went past 60, broke it, all the way down towards the 50 moving average here. 100 is right there. But uh, 50 moving average, that is going to be interesting whether or not we manage to, uh, to stabilize this market at this uh, 50 moving average. In the past, we have broken the 50 when we have tested it. So it is possible to break below the 50. But a turnaround from here, that could be a, a very interesting trade to see. But technical indicators are looking dreadful. So yes, uh, keep an eye on this. This could be a very interesting trade. So let's look at cotton. So cotton fell towards the 20 exponential and then rally. At this point, um, I think it's too late to enter this market. If you pull back towards the 20 again, uh, very unlikely that will happen but if it does then then it's probably um, uh, a good idea to uh, it is possible to enter this but to enter right here um, is kind of late the highs here are the target of 0 0.95 and we're halfway there technical indicators they are are turning around uh, slowly uh, but this bounce from the 20 exponential is uh, a very bullish shine for this market so let's look at cocoa. So we continue to rally, but we have found resistant here where we usually find resistant. So the way that this market has been trading and in the recent weeks and months is basically that we have basically a square here, the highs, the very lows, and in between we have additional highs and lows where we have found support today resistant today sorry and we have found support down here so it of course is possible to trade it here it is very risky it is much more um, safe to trade it here and trade it here but we haven't basically gotten to those points yet so very lows here two point very lows here i'm sorry 2.232 then we have the other lows here at 2.366 and then the uh, very highs here at 2.8 and then we have 2.6 here so this offers resistant resistant support and support at the moment it is more likely that we will turn around from here head back towards the 50 if that breaks then the 200 and probably down towards this level here so let's look at wheat So we broke down towards the 50 moving average, and this is also looking really interesting. The 50 moving average has offered major support in the past, look just like here. And if we manage to roll over from here, um, and then we could head back towards these previous highs at 6 point, no, 684 and probably to 693. Technical are looking dreadful, so break below the... 50 moving average that opens the door to these previous highs here that is roughly at 638. So yes, this is also looking like a very interesting trade. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.